Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T. And today we have a very special guest uh, <laughs> guest <laughs> <Perfect timing. laughs> on, on the podcast. I didn't know y'all did sound effects. That's amazing. I, yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't know either. That's yours. That's your official sound effect. His hands <laughs> look like this or her hands can look like that. Uh, he drives a big truck. He is the <laughs> epitome of Texan. Big man, big <laughs> pants, big hat, big life, big dreams, big money, big hopes, big heart. I introduce you to Tim. Well, hey not guys, a, not not a big name. No, short name. <laughs> Only three letters. Actually. Call, maybe call me Timothy after that. That was impressive. <laughs> that was a very impressive <laughs> intro. Yeah, it was. I feel. I feel. I feel. Uh, I feel quite uh, blessed to be here after that. Goodness. <laughs> well, thank I you so much for up. joining us, dude. Everybody we do appreciate you. It's been a while since we've seen you, uh, and uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Whether you're watching on uh, YouTube, watching this replay with video, or you're on Spotify, iTunes, all that stuff, please subscribe, like all that. We appreciate that you're here today. So, uh, Tim, how's uh, been, how's life been since we seen you last? Well, I've been working and then going home and going to bed and then taking taking care of my kids when they're here and then uh, yeah, then going back to work because there's not a whole lot of shit to do right yeah, now. Yeah, that sounds but, about my life for the last uh, family man. How, how many do you have? Are you willing to share that? I have two kids and they are six and eight. So good oh kids, my God. Young, little ones, little two ones. girls, boy and a girl. Boy and oh, a nice. girl. Okay, good nice, for you, nice, man. Nice. So uh, we were chatting a little bit about. Uh, uh, before we started recording, and and uh, you have you you came into a uh, nice little score, and you have a new uh, sort of uh, employment uh, opportunity <laughs> upon you. I have let's, a new hobby that you let's call it a hobby for now. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> let's be real because I've done it once. Okay, um, all right. Yeah, so, or, since, so, since I got all that stuff, but no, yeah, man, I got I got back into DJing. So when I was in like high school, I used to like just DJ like school dances and stuff for fun. So okay. I kind of, I kind of just enjoyed playing music, so it was fun, anyways. Um, so yeah, I mean, I enjoyed doing it, did a little bit in college and then just obviously stopped because I got out of college and had it work, but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, man, COVID does weird things to you. And, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> one of the things it did to me is start looking at, uh, going out of business sales for audio video places. And, uh, yeah, man, I found an auction of some place over in, uh, Bryan college station, Texas. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, man, I had to, they, they pennies on the dollar, man. It was awesome. Nice. So you got like the whole elaborate DJ setup. Do you have like the, do you have the, uh, do you do like the electronic, uh, turntables? Like, wickle, 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 electronic turntables? I, and stuff? I have, I have electronic turntables. They're, they're, in, they're MP3 turntables is what they are. Yeah, but, and <laughs> I can scratch on them. Still. I'm not good at scratching. I'm not an MC by any means. I'm not like DJ jazzy, nothing, but yeah. But, All uh, right. Yeah. So you, you told us earlier that you did a, you did a 40 year old birthday party. I did. Somebody turned 40. It was, and they were, they were, you know, it was coming out of covid man they were What's just your, like i want to know what's your top five give me your top five the ones where like the party's starting to die down a little bit i'm gonna toss this on to get the 40 year olds out of their lazy the 40 boys year olds and going to the dude. dance floor uh, i was gonna say it's very very specific on, on when your audience on that one but but man let me tell you if you throw some in sync on 40 year olds <laughs> go crazy <laughs> like I threw Backstreet Boys, Britney Spears, okay. NSYNC. I was rolling the '90s, okay. man, and then oh, oh yeah. late '90s, early 2000s yeah. pop stuff. Big, Biggie, Snoop, like okay. uh, the old stuff. Like yeah, I mean, we were rolling okay. all of it. So yeah, you know your audience. It wasn't like you're out there putting on whatever that K-pop sensation or is. You know, like <laughs> yeah, I'm not playing that crap. Like, that's not for me. That's not my yeah. my day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh, well. Little unknown fact about Jonas is I actually owned legit turntables back in the day with record that, that you put records on with a mixer and somebody stole the mixer from my house while i was sleeping oh man that's so the then i had two rec then essentially i had two record players yep, and that's what uh, you had. yeah it didn't didn't work out very well, well i never uh, never dj'd anywhere but I, I messed around and it was fun it was fun to play with did you well, ever know I, I had those tnt no <laughs> <laughs> i was unaware i knew yeah. you had a djing pass but uh i did not know you were a dj well, Next time I see you going out of business sale, I'll pick you up a crossfader. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't have the record players anymore. They don't oh, have a crossfader without without turntables. It's not but, helpful um, either. But, 
Yeah, but uh, but I also had a, a little. I've talked about this on the podcast before. I interviewed to be a, a DJ for work, and the guy at the job interview asked me what drugs I did, and then admitted to doing meth. And I was like, "Oh, I'm good on this on this one." He's like, "I just do meth, man. It keeps me up all night." And I was like, "Oh, I'll I'll let you know what I think about the job." And then he called me like incessantly for like probably two weeks after that to come work, and I was yeah, like, "I'm yeah. good, dude." I think you told that story on the Melody Pang episode. Too. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. It was. I know uh, it's real yeah. because he sold it at least five times. That I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my go-to. You know, you ever have a meth job interview <laughs> story? A the, good story. Well, TNT to the to the do the. Uh... Do the details ever change, or we, we, is he staying pretty consistent? He's, he's consistent. Okay, yeah, it's got to yeah. be real then. I, yeah. I believe. Yeah, him. I believe yeah. Him. the only t- the only thing I leave out is when the guy tried to make out with me. Because now it's breaking and news. You, that's the and you let him. <laughs> hey. That's really messed hey, up. Hey, hey, nobody's here to judge, man. We're just you do you, brother. <laughs> well, well, Tim is another one of our illustrious guests from an improv group that we did. Um, he was very talented in the show. Mm-hmm. Um, his his prowess only rivaled Jonas and mine. Um, <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> but but I will I will bring up my favorite improv uh, deal we ever did it was with yeah. Jonas was with Jonas when we were in a fish tank. Do you remember that? Oh, on stage. Yes. Yeah, that was stage. like yeah. It was we we start. It was the show that you weren't able to come to okay. TNT, okay. and like oh, we start. Right. We we were like we were the opening act. It was me and him. I don't yeah. remember. Okay, let me tell you something about improv, Tim. I never remember anything that I talk about. Like as the soon math. as the scene's over, like it's the yeah, math. right. Yeah. It's like, and I actually <laughs> talked to the teacher about that, and they said that you know you're so in it that you don't like you aren't like thinking about what you're doing, and that's so true. Because when we do our YouTube stuff, we get done, and I'm like, hey, what did we just talk about in that video? As I'm trying to name it on the computer. So why don't you refresh my memory? Because you seem to remember what we did. Because I remember it vaguely, and I remember it being good. But I don't remember what we talked about. Uh, well, basically, it was I think I think the the intro or the prompt was, uh, you guys are you guys are are in a fish tank, and yeah, so, no, I mean that was it. Sounds about yeah. right. And it was like okay, and so we both sat down, and the best thing ever, and I think the the audience loved it. You and I both kind of in in unison just started swaying back and forth like we were like we were grass in the in the. Uh, thing. <laughs> So, oh, nice! Yeah, yeah. And, okay. And All right. If Go I back. recall, we kept up the swaying the entire deal. So we were just you and I were just pieces of grass in a freaking uh, aquarium, <laughs> and uh, and then I think we were just commenting on people in the audience. If I recall, like I, I don't remember exactly what we talked about, but okay. yeah, we it, were like talking about fun. our surroundings, and we couldn't. We were just stuck there talking. Yeah, it sounds about like something we would do. Yeah, yeah. we're like, hey, look at that douchebag in the red. Oh, what a jackass! <laughs> <You> know, that's. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get over an improv show, you cut down on the audience. The easiest <laughs> way for a laugh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, are you going to get back into improv when it starts back up eventually? Oh, man, I'd like to. But, you know, the sad thing is all the other improv stage are, places are across town from me. Like I know. I'm, same I'm, here with me. Yeah, I'm Southwest. And, you know, that's what was so great about where we were is it was right on the same side of town. But now mm-hmm. it's, you know. Yeah, trying to drive an hour at 6 p.m. to hit an improv class during Austin traffic isn't ideal. Yeah, that sounds less than fun. Although I wouldn't mind getting Bible Jam back together. That's that's what I'll, I'll say. Right? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Well, everyone we've talked to this on the podcast, they've all been like, yeah, we want to get back into improv and we want to do more improv like as a group with us. So maybe we can try to work something out as we uh, – knock off the rust yeah we just meet at the park and just do improv by ourselves. <laughs> people are like look at those guys just doing acting in the park I'll we'll, watch. Po- we'll post I'll up watch. next we'll post up next to the DD guys and, and just do yeah there thing. you go yeah the live action D guys the ones oh, that are boy, out there in full them. costume <laughs> yeah right yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh tnt got anything about tim you want to talk about more before we get jumping into anything uh no not really i think i've uh Embiggened his head enough. Embiggened, that's <laughs> a word, right? Embiggened. Uh, George Bush sure. said it was. Thank as, you. Yeah, yeah, as of today, it is. Yeah. So, Did all right. So, <laughs> what? This is George <laughs> Bush meme. Oh, oh, Never gotcha. Um, so, so, you know, sometimes when you have two neighbors, they, uh, you know, they, they disagree over like their landline, you know, they, they're like, oh, you know, this, this line is mine or your fence is on my property or whatever. So there was a situation. It, uh, it doesn't say where it was. So we always joke. It's always Florida. I think it may have been Michigan. So Michigan, Florida, um, two men. 
they couldn't decide on the the landline. He said the one guy said his grandfather developed this farm a hundred years ago, and the other guy said this is my damn landline. So, like any normal, sane, rational person, he put up a two hundred and fifty foot long fence made of cow manure, right on the property line. To the oh, point boy. where the people who live in the other house can't even open their windows because their house is close to that property line. And they said every time they open their window, it's just cow shit smell all through their house. And there's <laughs> nothing they can do because it's not illegal to do that. And the man said it is not a cow crap fence. It is a compost pile. So that's how he tried to uh, get around it. So I'm just curious what you guys think with your neighbors. Well, Tim, 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 this is right up your alley. Isn't it, it is. <laughs> It is right up my alley. Um, now, first of all, I'm going to say this. I'm, I'm going to show my age here. But the, when you were the whole time you were saying landline, I thought you were talking about a phone. Me because too. Back <laughs> to in the day, honest, okay. you knew. Okay, good. Yeah, I was like, landline. We're all old. But, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. But, but property but, line. I'm sorry. Yeah, property yeah. line or boundary. You know those kind of. Yeah, okay, I'm with you. But uh, yeah, you know, hey, I had someone tell me one time that cow shit smells like money. And to them, <laughs> why? Why is that? Well, I guess they were cattlemen, so they like the smell of cow shit. I mean, they're oh, making money. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Unfortunately, guess, to the yeah, rest yeah. of us, yeah, it doesn't make. Yeah, make I guess sense, if you but... like work in a garage, the smell of a car engine smells like coins. Exactly. So, yeah. Like cow shit doesn't smell like human shit, right? No, very, very different because they eat, you know, grass. I mean, yeah. So is it like not big better dogs. or worse? Oh, it's bad. It's mm. pretty bad still. I'm not dude. gonna ask. I'm like trying to ask you your preference. Like, would you rather smell human shit or cow shit? But I'm, <laughs> I'm if you put up a 250 this. foot human shit fence, he <laughs> has. <laughs> That's that an entirely different up. story. Oh my god, I, my stomach is turning as you talk. But, yeah, <laughs> How honestly, long would there it take you go. That, collect it. Dynamite. That's the answer to your question. It, it's cow shit, 100. percent I don't want to smell 250 yards of human shit. <laughs> the, the Doritos, the queso, the enchiladas, <laughs> yeah. all the stuff that goes. Yeah, no, I just I'm gonna go with with the queso. With the, uh, yeah. So, right. well, what would you Fair guys enough. do if this happened to you? If this was your house and some guy, what would you do to your? How would you try to rectify this? There's got to be some way around it. There's got to be a loophole somewhere, man. Well, like, I mean, it's cow, his property. You know, cow shit's flammable. You just set fire to that shit and you'd be done with it. <laughs> just walk so, out, just dump kerosene on it, and just yeah, it. you shouldn't even have to do it. And there's so much methane and dried grass in it. It should just go right up. You know. That, in the, the old prairie days, that's what the, they used to look for buffalo chips, and that's what they, mm -hmm. the Indians would burn in their fires because there was no wood. Mm -hmm. So uh, now, that's true story. what if the man that is not his property, maybe he wants to get into the psychedelic mushroom business, and he could just look and get all the mushrooms growing off the poop pile, and he could sell them? Why are you have a look like that, TNT? Do you not know that that psychedelic mushrooms grow on cow poop? Well, see, now that's illegal, and then you could just call the <laughs> ATF, and they would come and take him down. Or, I'm sorry, the... Uh, well, he could call the, on ATF. the guy who owns the property and tell him he's growing a mushroom farm and take him yeah. down. Uh, now, who who told you psychedelic mushrooms grow on cow shit? Is that just a thing, or... You, or no, it's, you it's, they really do, yeah. Yeah, I didn't really? know this. We well, I have a friend Ohio, in the mushroom dude. business, and they don't use cow shit to grow the Well, they probably but... grow them, like, in hydroponic tanks and stuff, but, like, it, in Ohio, dude, it's like, they're, uh... The like wild, know maybe. You guys. <laughs> I <barely> know <laughs> you guys. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I was just trying. To, I was trying to make lemons out of lemon or lemonade no, out of lemons. You know, and it's like, yeah. hey, maybe he could get some. Maybe they're old hippies and they just love tripping on mushrooms. And they're right. like, yeah. how, how so, long did you say this 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 fence was? Two hundred and fifty. Is it meters or yard or feet? No, two hundred fifty foot. Two hundred and fifty feet. How high was it? Uh, hold on. I can share. I can share my screen. There's a little bit of a picture. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Are, are you wanting us to read? Because that's not a thing. Right? <laughs> I don't it looks like it. I don't know. I would say from from the the depth of field on this, I'd say probably four foot tall. That's a lot of shit. If you were to yeah, set so something like that on fire, how big <laughs> a fire are we talking? I think it would burn pretty well. I, I think it'd be. A, I mean, I don't. I I'm guessing it would spread to the, like the you know. The land around you and burn your house down too. So that, yeah, probably, probably well, not. Picture, a... It looks like the farmer who set this. It looks like his far, his house is set way back, so it's like he doesn't smell it at all. But it, I think the other guy's house is super close. The real question so like, here is, where in the hell did you get that much cow shit? Because unless you're running a dairy, it's hard to find that much cow shit. <laughs> maybe he bought. Maybe he like spent the money to like really give it to his neighbor. 
Like now that's dedication. If you're going to like buy a truck full of cow manure to just make a fence and then call it your compost, you're dedicated. I, I have a story about that. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> of, course <you> <laughs> of, course of course I do. Of yeah, course. no. Uh, so a friend of mine was telling me, um, uh, you guys know that I've been through some crap in my life in the last few years. And, okay, and, right, and right. there's, there's been a person who was kind of the, the, you know, catalyst catalyst for that. That's a good <laughs> yeah, word. Thank yeah. you. You're, you're uh, almost through it though. You're almost yeah. Through almost it. there. But, but, uh, anyway, so I have some friends that don't really appreciate the catalyst behavior and, okay. uh, and they were telling me, they're like, Hey, there's this, there's this internet site you can go to and you sign up and they will anonymous, anonymously ship a box of shit to somebody <laughs> and it will show up on their door in a box like wrapped up nice and then when you open it it's shit but you get to pick what kind of shit it is so you can be cow shit <laughs> elephant shit rhino shit like I, I don't know if i don't think human shit i think it'd be illegal for them, but, <laughs> yeah probably, probably every other kind like and, and it's called i think it's called like poop senders.com so there's a plug for them but <laughs> but yeah no it's yeah, it's a thing, man. I'm telling you. And and so anyways, they've been they've been, you know, threatening to do that to said catalyst. I've said and no. Like, I want no part of this. I, don't I want, want no part of that. That will, like that will only come back and hurt me. So I want no part of right. this. But yeah. Right, right. There is also a site where you can That's send hilarious. someone a box of little gummies, but they're shaped like dicks. And they, and when you open the box, it says, Here, have a box of dicks. <laughs> and like in their gummy. No, I, I, I think he's better enough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's <laughs> I think he's done his job. Okay, the poop would be more yeah. more pertinent to the situation. All right, so the best the best part about this poop sender thing is that when you open the box and you know it's a smelly bag shit, there's a note on top that says, "If you'd like to know who sent this, it's at the bottom." <laughs> <laughs> like so they dig through and there's nothing so they dig through it and there's nothing there and there's nothing there it's just yeah. on extra, it, should, yeah. it should just be a picture of a middle finger like in the bottom of the box so wow. on top of smelling it you sort it and then it's just a giant middle finger wow How, that that's the business we should get in dude that can't be legal there has to be something illegal about this mm, i mean i don't know they're not setting it on fire on their doorstep no, like in the 50s. Yeah, I mean, no, it's not dangerous, but there's got to <laughs> be something illegal about that. I don't think there is, man. I mean, they, I people haul shit all over the place. I mean, that's what manure and compost and all that stuff is, man. <laughs> that would be, dude, I don't know, like, if I would be like, I think I would be like, I would be mad, but then I would be like, who is so mad at me that they want to send? I'm like, <laughs> they paid to do this. Yeah, you paid hey. 40 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, is that's that, it. I think yeah, it's like forty. Well, it's 50 probably bucks. just like a little box. Like I'm sure it's not like pounds. I, no. I think you pay by the pound. Like I think I think like I think <laughs> there's like a minimum, and you can actually get it. You can get a custom mix. I think I've never actually. Oh been wow! On this side, what? But, yeah. It's like a. Uh, they get one of those UP, USPS priority boxes as whatever fits goes. So they're just like Bingo. loading it in. I, yeah, and weight I, doesn't matter. I, I'm assuming they work near a zoo or the something, so they're like offloading the poop for the zoo. So I guess that's how you. I get mean, rhino and you know, I don't know where you get rhino poop by the way. There's but. zero cost except for shipping in a box on this because the poop is free. They're getting the poop from somewhere because the it's zoo. It's not needs to get free. Rid of you have to go get it. So yeah, I wouldn't call <laughs> yeah. that free. There's labor there's, costs. <laughs> there's the guy. There's like the logistics chain of shipping the rhino shit to the factory to box up to send to people. They keep it in like a cultivated that's hot so it keeps the smell going does it, the bacteria keeps i was just trying to gross everybody that's out. that's that's a lot that's a lot there i'm wondering Jonathan. if the box smells in shipping Ooh. Know, it's probably hard to contain that smell it's a good question i wonder if they like if it's you know they there are like kind of the the boxes you can get like if you order like online food sometimes like the okay. perishable stuff yeah, comes yeah, in that like waxy yeah. boxes oh maybe, yeah maybe that's what they do i don't know Oh, my mom sent me Omaha steaks one time that I didn't nice. ask for, and uh, maybe they put it in like a in a styrofoam like cooler box, like. But the cooler would like d would like take the smell down. So like once you realize you wouldn't get the full effect because by the time you realized it was poop, you'd be like, "It's cold. I got to get yeah. rid of it." It needs to be in a damp, warm <laughs> area. They, they crack those hand warmers that they use up at like when you go hunting and stuff, and then <laughs> they, so they get hot as they I, actually. As they I, if you. I'm guessing if you seal it in an anaerobic environment like that, it's going to get pretty funky, like during during the shipping, you know. And I'm sure okay. they can second day it, so it's not going <laughs> to. 
No, they might want to ship it as slow as possible so it has time to like <laughs> fester. <laughs> they send it media mail because that's the really slow, cheap way to send everything. Right. <laughs> Wow, you ever had anything is, shipped to you media mail like over like eBay back in the day? It takes like 80 days for that shit to show up at your house. It's like, what do you do? Walk it to me? Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, like when I used to sell things on eBay back in the day, if you sell it's like what DVDs, books, things like that, you can ship it media mail and it's super cheap. It's like it's low, it's so cheap, but it takes like probably two weeks to get like interstate. <laughs> like it's yeah. so slow. I don't know what the hell they do with it. Throw Turns in a up. warehouse. Turns out the Pony Express is still a thing. They just carry it on a <laughs> horseback to you. One guy with one DVD and he just treks across the United States. Exactly. Yeah, that sounds about right. So speaking of zoos, it's a great way to segue into, um, did you guys hear about the Texas woman <coughs> who uh, went to the El Paso Zoo and climbed into the spider monkey cage and fed them flaming hot Cheetos and they recorded and caught her? Wow, I don't know what to say about that. That's, yeah, I don't. Dude, I don't know is, why. Why do people always want to fuck with animals? <laughs> I no, I mean no offense, Tim. No offense. No offense. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't fuck <laughs> animals. All right, let's let's be real clear. I want everybody in listener land to understand that I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of what TNT says, yeah, no. no I just mean he likes to spread occup- lies. I just yeah. meant that you're you're, you're, you're going to get a box of poop on your door here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait a second! Don't send poop to the Crazy Town compound. Listen, okay, <laughs> fine. Well, you know what I'm saying. Why do people always want to fuck with animals? I, I've never understood. I don't know. Well, it's like it's like I think. Well, here's the thing. Like in this article, it said like you know everything ended up okay as far as like they didn't attack her, but they're like even spider monkeys can fuck a human up. Especially uh, yeah. a group of them. Yeah. If, like, you go in and interrupt their natural habitat, like, at the zoo, like, luckily she got in, fed them, and got out. But but they were, like, really pissed because, like, they don't eat Flaming Hot Cheetos. So it fucks up their diet, their bowels, their their all, their yeah. schedule of eating, like, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, uh, she got it. fired from her law firm. Like, the law firm found out she did this, and they fired her ass. Wow. For that's a big deal. You, she didn't see that one coming, did she? <laughs> she was just like, "I just wanted to feed the, I just wanted to feed the monkeys." Like, yeah. What's wait? What did the statement say? Uh, I don't know how I feel the about The individual that. who was filmed trespassing in the spider monkey enclosure of the zoo was an employee of our law firm. She has been terminated. We have been a strong supporter of animals and animal advocacies, and we do what? not condone Come this irresponsible on, and reckless behavior. They Look. took the "we love animals" route. Now they get all the animal no. claims. I'm blaming this on meth as well. Like I don't know <laughs> what. Ever they fired her because she failed her meth test. Yeah, right. I think. Look, she's stupid. Yes, she could have hurt the animals. Yes, I don't think she should have got fired from her job because um, oh, that's a little much. Do we? Okay, I guess the question is. I mean, obviously, this is all about PR and damage control. Yeah, right? that's what it was. So how them. many clients do you think a law firm would lose because someone did something stupid to an animal? Do you think that's big enough? Like, as a, as a Texan, born and raised, do you do you think that people love animals enough in Texas to, like, not use a law firm over this? I would say there are people who do love animals enough to not use a law firm over this. But I'd really want to know what her job was. Like, is she is she, is she answering the phones or is she, yeah. like, doing right. legal work? Because if she's doing legal work, I, I'd probably fire her, too. It's like, you're too stupid for to work for me. I'm, I'm going to fire you. <laughs> but, you know, if, if you're answering the phones, I don't know that you needed to to do that i mean she could be a lawyer too if she's a lawyer then that's even worse but you know yeah i guess well i guess that's true because if you have like a well, enough respected job like a lawyer that the schooling and the in the like the licensure and like all that sort of stuff and you're dumb enough to do something like that um uh, yeah like but i mean there was no consequence she, she got banned from the monkeys. zoo she could what what well what? she could have killed the monkeys you said could right <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So there was no consequence. She looked like an asshole. Yeah. But there was no consequence. So what if she would have like went in and punched the monkey in the face? She didn't she kill the didn't. monkey. She didn't. Well, are we going to talk in hypothetics or are we going to talk in what actually happened? She well, she did. What, there, what, she, she was, the, well, here, she was trespassing. That's 100% okay. accurate. So she works yeah. for a law firm, depending on what they do. Maybe they're trespassing cases. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, we are the hardest lo- working trespassing lawyers there are in this state. You're yeah, going right. to use logic and you're going to make me agree. 
Oh, shit, sorry about that. that. Sorry about that. Jonas is just taking that. hypotheticals, and I'm going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? You're going to use logic, and I'm going to be like, okay, whatever. Well, but what if it was regular Cheetos? Does that make you happy? No, I'm just talking about <laughs> <laughs> Right. Are we talking the spice is the case here? Are they spicy candies? Oh, can I tell you about the, the jalapeno Cheetos? Don't ever, ever, ever do that. Like, it's I a bad. Those, do you really? I, do. I, I don't yeah. eat Cheetos. I mean, I, I do, but, but like I, don't I don't ever buy them. them. I don't. I like, don't I don't, I don't, I don't ever buy Cheetos to eat at the house. Like, I will eat a Cheeto, but like, I haven't bought Cheetos for myself to eat in oh my god, a decade. So I was hanging out with some people on. <clears throat> I have a boat. I've told you about, but anyways, I was hanging out with people on the boat, and someone bought a big ass bag of jalapeno Cheetos. We ate the whole thing um, between three of us, <laughs> and oh, god. Uh, yeah, the next day for all of us was not a pleasant day. We all agreed never to buy the jalapeno ones again. So, but yeah. She, could have built your own wall of shit, huh? So, well, I, exactly. I, I, I kind of did. If you, if it you wouldn't were, have stacked up like know. a wall if I catch his drift. It was not a wall, no. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, the spider monkeys, if they had to go through that, you know, shit, yeah. I, and the, I, I'm and the with them. hot Cheetos will, will tear up a human stomach. Didn't yeah. somebody, didn't some rapper eat so many they had to go to the hospital? Wasn't uh, that a thing that, that happened? Was, that was Lil Xan. That was, I remember that, that yeah. Lil Xan, and he ate so many uh, flaming hot Cheetos that he ended up having to go to the hospital. Because, like, the wow. spice was so strong. I think it, like, probably developed an ulcer. It's so. whatever, whatever the powder is they put on them, but I don't know. Like, flaming hot Cheetos are good. Are you like a crunchy Cheeto guy or like a puffy Cheeto guy? Oh, crunchy every time. Yeah. You crunchy know what's really like, good though? You like Takis. I didn't have Takis oh. in Ohio till I came to fucking Texas and I was Ta like What? Takis. Takis. Yeah, they're like those? they're the rolled up, they're red. They're 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 like and flaming hot, but they're rolled just, up like it's just like a pound of flavor dust on each one. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Man. It's way more than there are, are on a flaming hot Cheeto. Flaming the Takis Cheeto, are hotter. A Taki would laugh at a flaming hot Cheeto. <laughs> With Wait. the amount of like flavor dust that's on it, I don't so know. So the Taki is worse. If she'd have fed the monkey Takis, we we'd be having a different conversation. Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then she'd be brought up on charges. <laughs> Dude, the Takis, be. the Taki thing that you know, you get those little snack bags that have like probably fifteen Takis in them. It's almost hard to finish one of those bags. They're they're so fucking hot. Like, but they're so good. The flavor is so good it's on them. Too it much is much flavor dust. It is a lot of flavor dust. But yeah, dude. Well, because like you say, there's no harm, no foul. But like, what if the monkeys had the shits all week? Oh my god, be we're talking what ifs again. The monkeys. This did is not legit. Have they we don't know. We don't know. It it no, you don't know what kind of happen. Would it not be in your story? Hey, look, Mon we, monkey you diarrhea. Do you think facts here on the? You want to be a journalist? Let's journalize. I mean, monkey diarrhea. I don't know if they the, put that in there or not. What? What? The, what okay, hold on. They told the. They told them the spider monkeys are fine. Maybe a little shaken up by the incident, but they are fine. Okay, so <laughs> oh, didn't so happen. Then. You're gonna fire me because they need. Therapy now? Is that what the problem is? The monkeys need therapy. They're a little shaken up. They'll never forget this day. They still ask us to this day if we have a bag of a, just anything for a bag. Monkey offered to blow me the other day for a bag of fucking flaming hot Cheetos. Every just morning they're like, is that scary lady coming again to feed us the traumatic Cheetos? They're going yeah. to withdraw. They're just like so, tweaking. They're out here pawning their bananas in at the commissary for fucking flaming hot cheetos <laughs> none of this happened by the way no it didn't the it monkeys didn't. aren't selling their asses for cheetos well let me but let me let, oh, go, go ahead. ahead i was gonna say oh, let, no, me, let, me, let me throw another angle at this which which is you know talking about people that care way too freaking much about animals you know it, it's like these people and i it makes me wonder is like oh that monkey looks hungry i need to feed him like it, like because there's some really really Stupid people in the in the in this in our planet now, and it's like these people that go to Yellowstone and try to save like wild bison and then get you know gored, gored. to death because yeah. they're like <laughs> right. you're, like the bison doesn't need your help like the, the baby moose is fine leave it the hell alone, but right, it's like right. oh we got to get it back to its mommy like no you don't the mommy's about to kill you if you don't touch that baby again. I but, would love. It just happened a few weeks ago that uh, that I saw a man at a at a zoo and he took his three year old son. No, it wasn't. Even, he wasn't even three. He was only a, like maybe like two years old. He was like an infant. He took his infant son in a enclosure with wild elephants, 
and the elephant started to charge him. And then he dove back through the fence, dropped his infant child, had to grab the infant child through the fence, which I think was electrified. I'm not 100% sure. But that just happened a couple weeks ago. And I believe there was even another story of a lady doing that just about a, a week or two ago. Yeah, I don't understand why anyone would ever want to get into a zoo enclosure with any animal. No, they're already not happy to be here. Like, right. like you're just gonna piss them off even more. Right. You get you get six inches of space, and you're gonna jump in there as a big old scary human. Like, Aah! and they're like, "We will kill you." Let's Is this recent? Here. Is this a recent story? This story actually. Oh yeah, Mar- uh May twenty sixth. Yeah, yeah. See, the fuck pandemic has got people going crazy. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everybody's on like a hair trigger, like, like just like ready to just jump off and do some crazy shit. Yeah, like, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, uh, yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was in- interesting because people, like, she's lucky that it was the spider monkey cage because the gorillas would have killed her. Oh, they would have so just scary. like, oh, yeah. rip her apart. And so with the chimpanzees and probably everything else in the zoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, even like even the chimps probably would have like probably. Beat the shit yeah. out of her too. I'm not even. I'm not stepping toe to toe with a giraffe. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. No. Get you a big old neck swipe. Knock yeah, you I was out, trying to dude. think if there was any animal I would step toe to toe with in the zoo. No. Ping- penguins, maybe. You said be yeah. kind of icy and slippery, though. Yeah. I yeah. I wonder, like, if they get vet, like, if like a gaggle of is it a gaggle of penguins? What is it, a group grouping a a, a Flock. murder? Flock. I don't know. Flock. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. They. Uh, I wonder if they get like. If they like attack, like I've never seen a pissed off penguin. They just seem so docile and happy. If they do attack, that's that's something I would pay to see. <laughs> when so, penguins attack, yes, yeah, exactly. Just like watch them mauling a beaver, peck them, peck them to death with their little <laughs> flippers or whatever. The ones with the hair, the like the ones that have the fancy hair on the top of their head. I can't that's think right. what those ones are called. Emperor yeah, so penguins. Look, look at you, look at you, that's Mr. Penguin, Zoologist. I know a lot about nothing. <laughs> I know a lot about things. Not and that's something. Important, though. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, well, let's switch to a, a more happier topic now. So, we're going to talk about aliens. Coming... No, no. This is a this is a <laughs> uh, a weird a, we- a weird little story. This comes from the good old state of Maine, Maine, Florida. Maine, uh, Florida. Yeah, there's a man. His name is Tony Bennett. He's a he's an older man. He's a I think he says he thinks says a grandfather, and he. And he was frequenting the the creek or the creek, however you say it, wherever you're from, that that flowed behind a Walmart store in his city in Maine. And he noticed that all the trash from the Walmart parking lot, because it seems like every Walmart parking lot has tons of trash, makes its way into the little forested area and into the to the to the ravine that he goes down and spends his days with his grandkids with. So he has been making a case for Walmart to clean this area up for years, three years. And uh, so he decided one day he had had enough. He decided he was going to clean it up himself, to which Walmart called the police on him and had him arrested for trespassing because he was cleaning up the property behind their store. And uh, I thought that was pretty, pretty interesting. It shows how, how awesome corporate America is. Well, the first thing I thought about when you said the parking lot's full of trash, I want to say, and garbage, too, because there's... Uh... <laughs> Very true. Trash and garbage. And garbage, um, both. So, I guess my question is, A, does this surprise you? B, would you ever care enough to clean up the parking lot of a Walmart on your own? And, uh, yeah, I guess those two points. You know, I'm noticing a theme here. All of these stories have had to do with trespassing, basically. Like, the, wow. the shit, shit fence guy... <laughs> The monkey enclosure. Now we're in Walmart. Trust like is this? Are, are we all changing this? The trespassing sometimes, podcast or what? Th- sometimes the themes come without any sort of like. Hey, I just named a... I just named your podcast for you. You're welcome. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Thank you. I appreciate that. I like that. Breaking and entering coming next. That's next yeah. season. Yeah, I want to show you what this man looks like though. Like oh, they geez. show him with the cop. So like. I, he probably he probably looks like you probably think he does. He's right here, this guy. Can you see that man? Oh wow! Yeah, make your screen big. It's it's. Oh, I can zoom in. Hold on. Yeah, zoom in. Oh He's, yeah, more than that. Keep oh it wow! Going. It's like Ted Nugent, man. Look at that. Whoa, that is Tony Bennett. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there he is. is that a dude. caveman. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's that's why they arrested that, him. They thought he he's broke not, out of the museum. That's not from taking the kids down there. He lives down there. Like that's his home. <laughs> he's like, guys, my house is dirty. Like, why are you why are yeah, you dirtying up my he house? He was just looking for his brush. He's like, the hell with you guys. I was here before the Walmart. You know, I, I have. <laughs> right. So he, uh, yeah, so he, like, I think, I mean, ultimately, I think he didn't go to jail for this. Um, but, like, he, uh, it says, let's see. <clears throat> How did it say? It's, well, it said eventually he went down. As of Wednesday morning, the store had started to clean the woods. So he responded, they're trying. So, like, yeah. it brought enough attention that the store decided it was worth them to clean it up. So it's a happy it was ending. a little activism. Yeah. yeah. That's so good. That's a, I love happy endings. I really do. <laughs> Who doesn't love a happy ending? <laughs> Stories, too. You know, it's yeah, kind of crazy like, because, like, if he was a, a Zoomer uh, with, like, with, like, that college student appeal to him and he went down there and did it and posted it on Reddit, he'd be a hero. But because he looks like somebody's fucking homeless granddad, <laughs> he gets escorted out by the police. It's really sad, man. Really He's sad. out there salvaging for dinner out there trying to yeah. steal his next meal. Oh, hold guys on. Reddit put that, that, that picture back up. Can you can you put that picture back up? I want to see one more thing here. Likes on Reddit for the same for the same. Uh, oh yeah, he'd been picked up on on uh, Huffington Post or something. They'd they be on the front page. <laughs> Yeah, like local local activist is taking matters <laughs> like, into his own hands. <laughs> the next, you, the next Unabomber rested before he got to get put his plan in fruition right? by picking up garbage. Yeah, yeah. He. Uh, oh, I didn't put the picture up. Hot. Um. Yeah. One more thing. <laughs> well, when, when he puts this picture up, I wanted to ask you, what's the over under on this man owning a didgeridoo? <laughs> what do you What do you think? You think he definitely uh, owns a didgeridoo? Hundred percent. I don't think there's even a question. Like, is, are, uh, I think is the uh, over under ninety nine. Like, what's the? <laughs> I'm think taking the over. Me, I think part of me thinks like he owns one of those like broken old like espresso presses. That's how he makes well, his coffee. Like well, he just takes like the old grounds and. Okay, hold on a second. I'm reading this thing. Mexico police is what that says on the door. Like uh, that's what uh, I was trying to figure that out. Do you, oh, can you Mexico, see that? Is this from Mexico? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those is this does not look like Mexican police. I've I've met some Walmart and they don't look Mexico, like this. Mexico and it must be Mexico City in oh, like okay. Mexico, Maine cuz it says it's from oh. centralmaine.com. So Interesting. There's so a they, Mexico yeah. in Maine? Yeah, uh, there must be. Yeah, yeah. It must and, be. Oh, there's more pictures. Show. Hold on. This is Oh good. Jesus. <laughs> oh, he's see he's working. Look at that dude. Yeah, oh, look the, at all that trash. God, he's right, man. That was a lot of garbage. Look, I can see right, you see that seven. That's one of those sevens off their <laughs> off their little pricing signs. Look let's see what else. Oh, look, he's <laughs> in his natural habitat. Out that dude's there. just working. Like that's bullcrap. <laughs> like I'm pissed at Walmart all of a sudden. Like this, like there, the, there's, oh, there's the cop shaming. I'm like, what were you doing down yeah, here? Well, I'm not the getting down there. Look at the manager, dude. He's just watching. <laughs> Manager's about three bills. He's like, I'm not going down there. I won't get back up. Look at that. What are, you, what are we Aww. looking at? Mexico, town in Maine. How about that? It exists. What's that population? Oh, there's number? a good close up. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sasquatch lives. Look at that dude. <laughs> Survivor man and shit. He's like, I'm out here living, dude. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Telling you that dude lives there. I'm mean, like, it's, it's a Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's playing it off like I take my grandkids down here to the watershed to really take them yeah, down. Your grandkids, can, your grandkids come visit you down there is what, <laughs> what it is. And... Wow, yeah, that guy. Wow, he he was. Oh, I didn't realize they had all the photos. That was like a, a little bonus for all of us. So you know, the, the was, kind of. Is... What's that? Go ahead. I was gonna say I was kind of hoping it was gonna be the famous Tony Bennett. Like, yeah, like the I was singer. just gonna bring that up. I was gonna say the kicker is his name is fucking Tony Bennett. <laughs> like this the down there, he's down there. there singing and picking up trash, and he's like, he really let himself go. Like, I don't know. He's like an American treasure, and he's just like <laughs> running around this feral man beast. That's cool though. <laughs> that that would him. be awesome if that's what Tony Bennett looked like today. He went from like the classic. He's just like, he's just a homeless man with a COVID man. Beard. COVID <laughs> just everybody. COVID <laughs> took him into a deep, 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 deep dark place. <laughs> Turns Tony Bennett into a caveman. <laughs> I looked very, I looked very similar to that up until about a week ago. And then I shaved. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I did. I actually just shaved my head. I don't know if it's it, it's kind of shiny. You're, you're like, we need to put some, you know, take the light down in there or something, man. It's gonna blind. Yeah, you can see your reflection in it. I do, I, man. <laughs> I, man, I look Absolutely. good. 
<laughs> you do. So, you look amazing. Thank you. So I, I saw – um, I want to touch on this real quick. I saw the other day – that um, there was a uh, like tennis. The French Open is going on, and the number two female player in the world, she withdrew from the tournament because the uh, whatever the tennis association is, they were um, she was skipping press conferences after her matches because of I think because of anxiety and like just not and stuff like that. Well, so she withdraws citing. Uh, the dangers of press conferences or something. The way it was worded was kind of funny. But so she withdrew, which was like a big deal. She's like the number two ranked tennis player. Well, then not even like two days later, the number four ranked woman hurt herself leaving the press conference. She twisted her ankle and had to withdraw from the fucking French Open on top of it. And I was like, how fucking karma is that? <laughs> there they make her go, and then she fucking hurts herself. And she had to so two in like two days. Yeah, I, I definitely heard about that. Uh, she said that she just suffers from anxiety, and she didn't want to do the press conference. She said that she had told the league that she wasn't going to go to the press conference prior. To yeah, that. it was like it was well known. She was getting in trouble at that. She was like getting like fined and things for not going, yeah, and they were going to suspend her or fines. something. Yeah, and she was like, "Well, fine. I'll just, I just, I'll just withdraw then." Like, and she's the number two ranked lady. Like, yeah. do you remember the uh, the the whole uh, interview of "I'm just here so I won't get fined"? Yeah, yep. who was that? That was uh, Marshawn Lynch, wasn't it? It was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he would just why, sit there because they're all. It's in their contract that they have to go to these press conferences. After and, the show. And, and they do not like every time I watch one of those things. I'm like, man, that person just does not want. And I wouldn't want to no. be there either. No. It's like when Bill Belichick's up there. Is like, you people are beneath me. Like, why am I even talking to you? And, well, the funny thing is, it's like some like jackass the... blogger asking some dumb question. Yeah, you know, like, you know, like exactly. why I don't have time for? Like, it used to be well, that it was you know it used to be it was the Washington Post or you know New York Times or somebody impressive. Now it's some you know georgesblog.com who got press <laughs> credentials and they're asking dumb questions. And I think exactly. they just don't like it anymore. Well, all they want is their emotional response. They want them to lose their oh, mind. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. they do, you know, and then you get them bites like the practice, the Allen Iverson practice, practice. thing. Like th if there wasn't somebody asking the question and he wasn't pissed off about it, they would have never got that response. That's what they want. They want someone to lose their mind. And then they, then it's news. Other than that, it's like, yeah, we played good. Team played good. We got to try better. It was a team effort. We lost this one together. Like that's all it is ever. Like we should do, <laughs> uh, do we should do post podcast <laughs> uh, <laughs> press conference. <laughs> press conference. I'm only here because I'm getting paid. <laughs> How'd you feel that podcast went, Jonas? You were looking awful shaky in the third quarter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it. Well, you know, I came out strong. I got halftime. I was feeling a little weak. I got my second win, start of the third. You know, but uh, yeah, like uh. Well, the guest host really hit us in the back. We didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I really had to carry the third wheel on this one. Yeah, it was really. It was... me down. My power, my energy was just. Yeah, we, we drafted this guy and he's clearly no good. And so, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, like, I, I just thought that was, it was so fucking like, yeah, that's what you get. Like, like you, you pressure this poor girl into anxiously resigning from her career, like to win this tournament. And then one of your other tennis players gets hurt leaving a press conference. Like. <laughs> It was just like karma. She signed the contract. It's she did. True. It's true. She I mean, it. you want to be a pro tennis player, you know what that entails. You signed the contract. You're yeah. not going to give back all the money, but yet you nope. don't want to do all that the contract asks you to do. Right. Like when we sign our contract and they make us like hold up all the stuff during the whole podcast, yeah. I may hate it, but you know what? I'm getting paid to do that. Yeah. It's like you're doing something that you love. And frankly, it's probably easier than working a nine to five that most people have to work in. It pays way more. You got to do the interviews sometimes. If you don't want to continue to pay the fines. And then, like I said, she, if she felt that strongly about not doing it. She, she did the right thing. Yeah, I can't argue with that. I yeah. mean, you 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 did sign it, and that's that's the funny thing about contracts is they yeah. they're uh, legally binding. Yo, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's why you have lawyers and you yeah. read them because okay. if you don't exactly. sign it, exactly. I don't think I've ever read anything I've ever signed. I like I just like okay, I'll sign it and whatever. But yeah, yeah. No. I I feel like if if like if something ever happened where like you know with a podcast or just anything like that, and they were like, hey, we want to sponsor you, you sign this contract. Like, I feel like that would be the first time in my life that it flaming like hot Cheetos. You know. Right. Exactly. Like the terms and conditions would sponsor. Uber apply to me. And I would like read that shit with a fine tooth comb um, to make sure they're not we're like, we're going to get a lawyer to look at it. 
Yeah. If we do anything, mm-hmm. sir. Oh yeah, because yeah, exactly. The learning not gonna charge anything yeah, compared to the journey. Yeah, if Taki shows up and wants to sponsor you, you're gonna ask him questions. He's gonna, it's, or like you have sense. to eat a whole bag of Takis every or, ten minutes. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Or poopsenders.com. You never know who's gonna show up. It could be anybody would, we've talked about. I would let poopsenders.com sponsor the podcast. I would support you in that. Yeah. <laughs> then TNT's like Nope. <laughs> Something illegal about that. <laughs> he doesn't want to be mixed illegal. up in the elite and illegal businesses. I do remember Marshawn Lynch doing that though, because yeah, he that's literally like all he would say. He wouldn't really say anything else. He would just be like, Yeah, I'm here because they're I would get in trouble. He didn't want to get fined, he didn't want to talk. You know? I don't blame him. Like I, I I'd get it. There's probably days you really don't want to do it. Now, granted, if I got paid that much, I, I'd like to think if I got paid that much to play a game that maybe I'd play play along with with the thing i can give them yeah. you know bullshit answers but you know whatever but. and most of them do most, yeah most professional athletes well, do play along i just can't imagine they don't want to be there being like tom brady or somebody and like you have just a shit bucket of a game and you cost your team the game and you you like literally you've made so many mistakes you know it's like it's a team effort but it's your fault you turn the ball over at 10 times or whatever and then you go out there and just like how to feel to really suck today and you're like well <laughs> Let me tell you how it feels to really suck today. You know, you already feel like shit. And then they're out there just like picking at you about it. Yeah. Just yeah. cry and go viral. <laughs> right. Like do that, like crying, like quit picking on Britney person from way back Ooh. in the day. That, no, quit honestly, picking I, on me. I'd like to think that's, I'd have more fun with the pro, with these press conferences. Just act like a jackass the entire time. Just See, making, yeah, do, do Britney I'm stuff, doing. you know. Well, that's like, like Cam Newton talking, shows talking a high squeaky voice the whole time. Is like, I don't know. I had fun. It was great. <laughs> oh, Elmo. But, like but some of them show up Elmo. like uh, Cam Newton shows up in like the most eccentric clothing you could possibly like big old crazy top hats with feathers in them and stuff mm-hmm. like coming out looking suave as ish. Like, but they're just like, this is what you put on after you play a football game. Like, that's like, hey, we're going to do a pest press conference that I don't want to do. I'm going to make it a game. For me. I'm going to be on TV, right? You're going to look good, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Well, it's all, it's all press. People know who he is. It's like, if you show up dressed crazy as hell, they're going to be like, who's the guy who came out in a bunny suit? Like that, you know, like they're going to, they're going to get some recognition. It's so, like Santa, Santa Claus every, every, every week. And just. <laughs> Yeah, so you know most of them probably feel debilitating and awful, and like they want to die when they're doing the press conferences. So speaking of being debilitated and wanting to die, <laughs> good segue. Like, yeah, nice. um, I found out this today. This this actually happened back in the '80s. It's called the Lake Nyos disaster, and I didn't even know that this is even a possibly a thing. This happened. This was in Cameroon. So there was there's a lake. It's called Lake Nyos. <laughs> And what happened is there, there was some sort of a, like an eruption underneath the surface and it produced a giant cloud of carbon dioxide, 1.6 million tons of carbon dioxide. And it initially it came out of the lake and went straight up in the atmosphere, but then whatever the barometric, the barometric conditions, whatever it, it ended up concentrating and coming back down to earth. And hitting and hitting a vill- it killed seventeen hundred people and thirty five hundred livestock because it was all CO two and it it moved it was such a big pocket that the people died from uh, asphyxiation, asphyxiation. Yeah. because they wow. couldn't get any oxygen and I was and now at this point since then it says they've put like degassing things in the water and they put they built systems to make sure this doesn't happen again I had no clue that that could happen and that is some of the scariest shit I've ever heard life you're just like walking around you just fall over dead yeah i feel um, like if i feel like if the earth farts and you die you're kind of like you had a, it was your time man yeah, i don't know what else to tell you i feel like there's certain times that you're meant to be like i told tnt like i want to go skydiving and he's like what if your chute doesn't open and i go if my chute and my backup chute don't open it was my time to go it's your time like, no because you decided to jump out of a plane <laughs> no i'm afraid look. that you kind of gave destiny a little shove in the back if you jump out of a plane hey man you, you, you gotta take you gotta take the risk sometime you, you gotta jump every now and then and you know <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> why this is awfully <laughs> hypothetical for you i don't understand why you're even i don't want to depart from the story but tell me that you're not one of those guys that you have you ever gone skydiving i have not no would you do you want to would you i would i don't want to no. i got you okay so like if it ha- if it came about you would do it but it isn't like i need to do this yeah, I mean, I've seen people do it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that kind of looks fun. I've heard, 
I've heard if you have bad sinuses that like it, like the fall, like the pressure change on the way down, like really can screw with you. So give you nosebleeds. Yeah, bleeding. like it's like your your head. It's like it's like the opposite of scuba diving, right? And so you're, like your head's just like going crazy. I've heard that's a a thing. I don't know if it is. Or oh, not. that makes sense because like when I fly in an airplane, my ears get really clogged and pop. But you would like have that drop where it takes like thirty seconds and you're falling thousands of feet. Exactly. Anyway. Yeah. That'd be, that would be kind of kind of weird, but, but, so, I, but yeah. I, I think we should take TNT skydiving. You want to do that? <laughs> you couldn't no. pay him enough to do it, I think. I'd, would you uh, do it if somebody paid you to do it? Uh, how much? What, what would it cost? I don't know. Make an offer. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money, I'm sure. Well, how about that? You haven't even tried. How about this? Did you watch the A team growing up? Y'all remember that? Oh, uh, I did, yeah. I'm a little, a little before my time, but I know what it is. So, M B Mr. T's character, B.A. Baracus, like it was a, yeah. the whole, the whole, his whole thing is he hated to fly. He wouldn't fly. And they had to fly all the time because they were the A team. So they drugged him. They snuck, they, they would, they would literally roofie him every episode. <laughs> oh, that's right. And, I told yeah, you. Yeah. He, he would wake up like he, that he was already there and he was pissed off because they did it. And so every episode they roofied him. Like, and I was just like, <laughs> I, and then so I'm sitting here right now going, that's fucked up, man. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> they date rape him every single episode. Like right. he'll be all right. He'll be fine once he gets there. Whoa. So if we roofie dynamite, and just take him with us. You know, <laughs> you really us. us. You're just gonna put retinol in me. I'm just gonna wake up in, a <laughs> in the plane. <laughs> hey, you that gotta would find be... a shady ass uh, skydiving company that'll take a knocked out person up in the plane. <laughs> like with three of us, they're like, "Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. He's right. He's just scared. Yeah. Just roll him up. Just roll it's him out. Birthday. He'll wake up on the way down. Don't worry. Yeah, right? It's his birthday surprise. We roofied him, so he would be <laughs> all right. TNT twenty bucks and a ride in Tim's boat. Absolutely not. <laughs> Damn it. <No. laughs> Tim. Okay, let me ask you a question. I'm gonna go back to the story. I promise. We're tangenting. If you if you ask if you've ever asked someone to like how do you ask someone to get in your, do, do you do you say do you want to go on a boat ride or do you say do you want to get in my boat like I told him I said something to him about going on a boat ride with you and he was like why are you calling it a fucking boat ride and I'm like what else is it so ask the man with a boat what do you do how do you ask someone to go you say hey I'm I'm heading out on my boat you want to go and you, know, we're you would to the never say boat ride unless you're talking to like a toddler. <laughs> we're gonna go on a boat ride Very <laughs> cute. my kids would be like oh really where Ooh, boat ride sounds great okay all right i lose yeah i'll so, take it so we this year we we've we uh i upped my my boating game and i finally bought one of these lily pads have you ever seen these things you know what no what is that? is that it so it's it's <laughs> the rage on the lake everybody has them now like in this but basically what it is imagine you know what a, those little like now noodle foam noodles are right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah well imagine a flat foam noodle that's six feet wide and 20 feet long oh and my god just, it spread it it rolls out and it just floats on the water and that's what this thing is it's a lily pad so and you can play oh, on it sense. walk on it lay on it. it's it is a game changer being well you can walk on it in the water and it doesn't go it doesn't well, like I, mean, I can't. I'm a little heavy for it, but uh, my but it, kids, it, it, my it, kids it, run back and forth on it. But yeah, no, it's great. Wow! So they can like be, they're just like running on the water. Like yeah, I'm sure a, a grown adult like it, you'll sink. Yeah, like if you're does larger get, than like, does it get waterlogged? No, it doesn't soak in water. It's just a, it's a real dense foam that doesn't get waterlogged. So it, it just sits there floating the entire as long as you leave it out there. I've never heard of this. Oh thing. nice. Do you ever Amazing. like pull people behind your boat on a tube? Like do the uh -huh. tubing thing? Oh, oh uh -huh. dude, that would be awesome. I've got to do so here's the thing about tubing. So tubing was is amazing when you're less than 25. Once you're <laughs> once you get past that number, you start being like, mm, just I'm I'm sore and it's been six days. Like, why am I still well, so, like yeah? It's I could not. imagine if you're holding on and the boat driver is an asshole and makes you flip, that like it hurts like a bitch. Like I can imagine <laughs> smacking the water going like 60 miles an hour does not feel good at well, all. I, I can't funny enough, I have a story about that. <laughs> awesome. <Tell it. laughs> Yeah. So Tell when it. I when I was in college, like the 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 boat is a family boat. It's not my personal boat. So it's okay. the same same boat that my that my family's had since college. And so <clears throat> I was uh we had gone out and I hadn't been out in a long time. Like it had been it probably been a year since I'd been out. So it was kind of the first time out and we're like tubing. And so I had a couple of friends with me in, in this and one one of the girls brought her boyfriend. He was was fine after that but he jumped out on the tubes like hey go and pull me on the tube so it was the first person i'd pulled on a tube in i don't know a year two years like it had been a long time so i'd kind of forgotten how to do it <laughs> oh god and i forgot what the speed you're supposed to do it at is 
and uh, turns out it went a little too fast. And so, and, and, but yeah, no, and what I am really good at is, is throwing you off of it. Like I knew, I knew how to do that. So turns out when you're at 30 miles an hour on the water and you throw him off the tube and he's being a good sport because he didn't really know anybody. He's some dude, some, some chick's gr- right, boyfriend. Right. He's, like, he's, he's like trying to, point. he's trying to be cool. But anyways, <laughs> so I whip it around and, and he just, he just starts, he flies off this. I, I shit you not this dude skipped like a rock across the water like it was like <laughs> like I, I was like and and i just saw him bouncing across the water and i was like You're like i kill the man today like, like oh and he's just flailing you know he, he's no control he's just flipping and bouncing and i'm like just arms oh, and legs shit i was going too fast like and like so anyways we pull back around like hey you all right like everything good he's just like he, he's not really talking like, you okay man and he's like yeah yeah and he just kind of like floating he, yeah. he kind of just like crawls back up into the boat and just kind of goes and sits down and like wraps with a towel and just like you know rocks back and forth in the fetal position like this like he would like and he was bruised i felt like such a dick like well yeah was, well i'm sure it's traumatizing dude. It, <laughs> no yeah he was he literally bruised his body was bruised from from this this act so i've never forgotten that but he, uh, <laughs> how fast do you go on a what do you normally do when you're too how fast do you usually take you should be around 20 max maybe yeah, 22 15 yeah dude. yeah 15 okay. to 20 yeah and that's right. enough okay it still but, feels uh, the rush you still get the rush going 15 yeah, 20 miles and, an hour. and if you took physics in high school or college or wherever you take physics um you learned about angular velocity so you learn that when you turn that thing and it's a and it's a rope it actually kind of slingshots you around mm-hmm. so you so can be going, going actually faster than yeah that. so you can be going <laughs> like 15 but the tubes go on 25 because it's like and it will and it literally if you do it right it will pass you you can actually get you can actually hit the tube where it will actually pass the boat for a minute and then it will whip them around and kill them so you have to stop <laughs> immediately like, you, like yeah. as, soon as, as soon as they're up even with you you have to kill the engine or you will kill them like the like danger is mounting so much it makes me want to do it less and less <laughs> i was already have there. i talked I'm have already i talked there. you out of it yet like let's let's, let's yeah, stick on the lily old, pad as lily an old pad man and, and then the story about you almost killing a man and then how you can get murdered yeah dude i'm like Sign me yeah. up for yeah. tubing. Yeah, jo- Jonas's tombstone. He went out like he wanted to on a tube. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yep, that's how I that's how I live my life, dude. It's the only time would. I'm not in a tube. Right. He now. signed the contract. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So. Well, that's that from then on I've had people sign waivers because I'm like this. Yeah. Right. It's not gonna go well for me. Yeah, exactly. It's all in the contract, exactly. So well, guys. It's about that time. We've we have we have uh we have got the podcast done. Tim, thank you for joining us. Do you have anything, any closing words, anything you want to say to the to the people listening at home? Yeah, man, keep those tubes under 20. <laughs> That's a fair, fair assessment. That's and, and don't don't send me any shit on my porch. Oh, those are the things I and I really don't want you to do. Okay. All right. Yeah. Easy All right. enough. Easy enough. TNT. Uh Thanks for joining us, Tim. It was wonderful. I did want to talk more about the death cloud of carbon dioxide, but that's all right. You know. All right, here. What do you guys say? Why? We'll, we'll do a little. We'll, we'll do a little extra, dude. I just want to know when the government is going to weaponize this. Because that's why. Ha- like why a wouldn't great they weapon. have? That's actually it's happened like thirty years ago. Like, why wouldn't they think about like dropping a bomb that just unleashes a giant cloud of carbon dioxide? It doesn't explode. It just. Just an indiscriminate. That'd be, that'd be a lot of carbon dioxide to put in a container. I don't know how. Oh, that's work. that's actually like, true. I wonder how like, big it is. It would have to be like two jumbo jets, like <laughs> like compressed <laughs> CO two that'll just fall at once. And poof. So yeah, yeah I, okay, yeah, yeah. I, okay. That's a, that's a valid nope, point. Nope, and, that's, that, there, and there's my there's my cue. Oh, somebody, yeah. somebody likes me on Tinder. Oh, nice. Ooh, what, so we well, about uh, that? <laughs> no. Yeah, so, but all right, everybody, uh, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please go to crazytown.com. That is our YouTube channel to subscribe, or you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, all that crap. But for Jonas, TNT, and Tim, and Tim. <laughs> start vibing. <laughs> <We> are <laughs> out. I'm getting uncomfortable. <laughs>